Now we're back in the U.S. with uh, Ruth Lewandowski Cuvée Zero. So um, this one is a mix of Tinta Rory's, Rory's, uh, which is, uh, I'm pretty sure just Tempranillo, Suazao, which is one I actually just don't really know very well, and Torigo Nacional, which I'm pretty sure are all what, like Portuguese grapes. Obviously Tempranillo, I think, initially comes from Spain. Um, and it's a mix of these um, in a zero zero wine. So it's pretty extracted. So it's pretty extracted, like it's uh, fairly pink, I would say. I don't know exactly how long it went and was pressed, um, but it's got this gorgeous rosé color, dark rosé. And then on the nose, it's like pomegranate, I feel like is the thing I'm mainly getting on the top, which is not something I normally get off of wines, so that's pretty cool. Um, and then after that, Like, there's a lot there, but it's kind of like hard to pin down because it's not just fruit. It's like, it's like dried. <laughs> I'm about to do the cranberry raspberry thing again. It's dried raspberry. I think that's like raspberry tastes good in chocolate. So I'm pretty sure that's what I'm thinking of on the side. So it's like a raspberry quality, but it's like, the type I would find in my chocolate that is like the best mixture. I don't care what you say. That is my favorite. And then down here, it's like, syrupy watermelon, like, like a watermelon, but the watermelon is, a, uh, what's it called? The Jolly Rancher. That's what it is. So let's try it. Watermelon Jolly Rancher. <laughs> that's what I've decided this is. It has way more going on than just that, but that's certainly um, the one I'm going to stick with. It, I'm left with like some of the like raspberry qualities as well. Um, it's interesting because like it has a little bit of heft because it does have this extraction, but it's not, it's still, it's just like a dark porch pounder, if that makes sense. Like normally you look at a rosé and you're like, oh, you know, these light ones I'm just going to have at the beach versus this one is meant for food. And this one I think could go either way. Um, so I would have it with my, as I would call it, my uh, non-serious foods, your chicken nuggies, your pizzas, like great. Anything that's just kind of like your junk food, do that. Um, yeah, or just by itself. <laughs> It's a really fun rosé. It's not something that uh, I'm used to seeing, and I think that it will be really good if you uh, have it really chilled and eat it with something that might be a little bit, like, sinful or whatever. <laughs> Let's enjoy.